and the paramedics of the Helicopter Emergency Medical Service have some of the most rewarding jobs in the world, but also amongst the most difficult and the most demanding. My name is Richard Webb Stevens. I'm one of the current London's Air Ambulance Paramedics uh, doing a Hemsworth Department. I'm also a motorcycle paramedic for London Ambulance Service. Now, London's Air Ambulance has been around for 30 years now. It started in 1989 as they recognised that seriously ill people or seriously traumatised patients were dying needlessly uh, when they could be saved from um, uh, um, uh, accidents and injuries that could be saved at hospital. So the idea was, rather than bringing patients to the hospital that would die en route, they take the hospital to the patient. Now that has uh, developed over 30 years to the model we have now, uh, where we currently have uh, a system that works 24 hours a day, and in the aircraft or the car at any one time, you have a consultant, a doctor, and a paramedic. And they're all specialist trained people that work pre-hospitally, delivering the hospital to the patient. On a daily basis, we'll probably attend about five calls in 24 hours, which is not a lot when you think about 5,000, 6,000 calls coming into London Ambulance Service. So what we also have to do as paramedics is work in the control room, and we have to identify which calls we're going to send the HEMS team on. And that's very difficult, because we only go to major trauma. We don't do medical problems like uh, the rest of the, uh, the country do with their, uh, their ambulance, um, air ambulance service. So when we get to the scene, we get to a scene where someone could be dying and they probably will die within 15 minutes if we don't do something. And some of the procedures we do, we anaesthetise people on the roadside, we'll do um, open chest surgery on them, we'll relieve pressure by cutting small holes in their chest, we can give uh, heavy doses of uh, analgesia and uh, various other things. We can also do something to help people stop um, bleeding internally if they have a massive pelvic injury by inserting a balloon catheter into their femoral artery. This is called Reboa. And Reboa was done first time pre hospitally in the UK in London Thames back in 2015. It's one of the things that we pioneered. And with London's Air Ambulance, we pioneered many, many different procedures and indeed the way we work as a, um, a pre-hospital air emergency service and also how we work in the control room using specialist paramedics to identify the calls that we need to go to. It's a small and a medium. Alright, first aid kits, uh, check, spare headsets. Check. My day-to-day -day duty, I basically look after all movements on the helipad in terms of giving fire cover. Uh, because we're 17 floors up and um, we couldn't wait for London Fire Brigade. So I just look after um, the helicopter itself and make sure that the team have whatever they need in terms of medical equipment. And um, also we do things like the visits and um, we're also safety officers throughout the helipad itself. So. And uh, how long have you been working? I'm the new boy. I've um, just uh, coming up to a year and a half. So. Um, Prior to this, I was uh, a domestic firefighter. I was with Kent Fire and Rescue, and then I was an aviation firefighter at Biggin Hill Airport. And um, part of our um, throughout the summer, because we fly until sunset, our, our hours are a lot longer. So we uh, we use outside contractors, which are aviation firefighters. And um, I started coming up here a couple of years ago as an aviation firefighter on overtime and um, I absolutely loved it. And then two years ago they decided they needed to take someone else on, so I applied and here I am. So the doctors will come from all over the world uh, and the UK and they come specifically to work on London's Air Ambulance, they'll do a six months of common. We also have a group of consultants who have been on the London Ambulance Air Ambulance system for uh, many years now and they have a permanent role there. And then with the paramedics we have two groups, we have the group that are just starting their first um, uh, HEMS uh, secondment for about a year and then uh, those of us like myself who've been in the system for a while, uh, we've continued to work part time and we've also come back now working full time. So um, I've been with the uh, London's Air Ambulance for four years now. And I currently work half my shifts on London's Air Ambulance and half my shifts on the Motorcycle Response Unit for London's Ambulance Service.